guys, it's Katie here with Life Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna share with you guys what I chose to do for my preschooler for science. I have a three-year-old, almost four-year-old, who is dying to be involved in school and to do all the things the older kids do. She wants her own workbook and to start doing things the way the older ones do it. But of course, she's still in preschool, so I want a general introduction to learning for her. I want a lot of play-based learning, real-life connections and attachments to things. And so I was trying to kind of appease her, but also find something that fit my education philosophy. And so I came across the Evan Moore more skill sharpeners pre-k science book and thought this would be a perfect addition to our school today I want to share with you guys why I'm enjoying it why I like it why I would recommend it and let's take a look inside so let's get started hi my name is Katie and welcome to life in the mundane I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. So just to clarify, these lessons are short and easy. You could do a lesson a day and do it every day, or you could take it at their child's pace, which is what I choose to do. So with my little one, we will do it whenever she asks to do her school book, then we will do a lesson. And um, so sometimes we do multiple lessons in a week, and sometimes we only do one lesson in a week. And I really love the fact that it gives you that flexibility. If you guys are not familiar with the company Evan Moore, I highly recommend you check them out. I will leave a link down below. They have skill sharpeners, which are just books that will help your child sharpen their skills in different subject areas. They have so many different subject areas, and they offer those from pre-k all the way up to sixth grade. They also have um, full curriculums and other options out there and available for your child. So it can be a great addition to your homeschool. So the science unit is divided into three sections. For the physical science unit, you're gonna be talking about colors, shapes, sizes, textures in the feel it section, wheels that do the work, sounds are all around, and how motion, how we move things. In the life science unit, you're gonna be talking about living things, about living things have basic needs, your five senses, parts of a plant, how we eat plants, wings and claws, babies to love, and animal homes. The final unit is the earth science unit, and that one you're gonna to get to look at the land, rocks all around, how earth has water, day and night, and introduction to weather. Each lesson starts out with a rhyme or a chant that your child is going to use to learn the concept that is being taught in that lesson. Then they're gonna have three different workbook pages that are very simple and age appropriate where your child here is matching up the color with the item. And then they end out the lesson with a real world um, example of whatever science concept they're being taught. So every single time you finish a lesson, you're going to be going on a special hunt. And so with that hunt, you're going to be searching around your house or out in nature, wherever they tell you to, to look for the different concepts that you've been learning about. So here you're going to go on a color hunt and you're going to go around your house and you're going to check off once you find every color. And yeah, there's something blue. Good job. And then mom can write down for the child what they found that was blue or green or yellow or red. Here is a later unit where we're talking about homes and habitats and where your child is going to go on a walk and look for different homes and habitats of different animals, like a spider web or a hole in a tree for a bird, a birdhouse or an anthill. So they're gonna get to go and find those things that they have been learning about. This keeps things very, very simple. All you technically need is this book and you could open and go, just follow the instructions in each activity and you would be good. But what I love about this is they also offer a free teacher's guide. In the front of the book, you will notice a QR code that you can scan and will open up a teacher's guide that you can use to help lead your child to additional educational opportunities. So for instance, it starts out very simple, talking about colors and shapes and sizes, talking about different textures and things. And at first, I honestly questioned, what does this have to do with science? I would have never put this under the science category, but in reality, with science, you are observing and learning about the world around you. Well, it's hard to observe what the differences or similarities are between different concepts, like different animals or plants or trees, if you can't describe them. And you need those descriptive words of sizes and shapes and colors and textures to be able to help you really understand and appreciate the differences and to learn the things you need to learn about them. So they start with those base skills. What I love about that teacher's guide though, is it takes it a step further 
further. You could easily just do a tier and just keep it very, very simple. But if you have a desire to do more experiments, hands-on activities, then the teacher's guide is perfect for you. It's also a great way to kind of level up, so to speak. Maybe your preschool already knows all their colors and that unit, that lesson would be super simple. Well, then they've got additional activities in the teacher's guide that are gonna help you take it a step further and talk about how you can mix colors and how certain colors mix to make a different color. There are additional questions that you can ask your child or activities that you can do to keep the learning alive and have fun with it. Within each of the lessons in the book, you will notice these talk with your kids sections. These are also additional opportunities to talk with your kids about the concepts they're learning. So here they're learning about motion and they've got a little chance to go along with that. And it says, I move things in different ways. I push a ball to the ground. It will bounce up and down. I throw, I throw a ball way up high. It will move and seem to fly. I hit a ball with a bat. It will move in no time flat. I can move things using force. I can move things. Yes, of course. But you can do that with your child and then you'll go into the lesson talking more about motion. But here they've got a little section that says explain to your child that people can make objects move in different ways. Together with your child, explore different ways that you can push pull or move different items around your house. It also helps encourage you to have conversations with your child about how when a person applies force to an object, then it will be in motion. So again, you can kind of take it as little or as high as you want with your child and depending on where they are developmentally, but it's just a really fun way to introduce a lot of these beginning concepts that are gonna help set your child up for learning more about the world around them. Each unit includes a fun certificate for your child so that once they complete it, so that'll be a fun thing for them. I love the fact that you can go through this book sequentially and have your child just do one lesson after another, or if there is a specific lesson that lines up with the lesson we are learning in our science curriculum for our older kids, I can actually go to that specific subject and learn more about it with my child at an age appropriate level. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you are looking for just a fun, simple thing to add into your preschool, these books land at like between seven and $10. So they're super, super affordable to add into your homeschool and can really just help enhance the learning for your little ones and help them feel included. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Have you used any Evan Moore products and which ones are your favorites? And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.